A boat traveled 27 miles downstream in two hours. On the return trip, which was against the current, the boat was only able to travel 21 miles in two hours. Determine the speed of the current and the speed of the boat. Let's begin by identifying variables. Here we'll let C represent the speed of the current and we'll let X represent the speed of the boat. Now I recognize this as a distance problem, so let's try to organize our data in a chart. The relevant formula here is that distance equals the average rate times the time. Now a boat traveled 27 miles downstream in two hours. We'll place a 27 here for D in the downstream row, and it did that in two hours. Now on the return trip, which was against the current, the boat traveled 21 miles in two hours. So we'll place a 21 in here for D, and again two for two hours. Now to fill in these rate boxes, we know downstream the current adds to the speed of the boat, so X plus C. Upstream against the current, the current subtracts from the speed of the boat, so x minus c. Now using the fact that distance equals rate times time, we can set up a linear system. 27 equals the rate, which is x plus c, for the trip downstream in two hours. So distance equals rate times time. Now for the trip upstream, we can write 21 equals x minus c times 2. Distance equals rate times time. And this is our setup. So we can solve this linear system any way we choose. Let's begin by distributing 2. That'll give us the equivalent system 27 equals 2x plus 2c. Similarly, 21 will equal 2x minus 2c. At this point, you can see the variable c is lined up to eliminate. Let's add these equations together. And we'll have 48 equals 4x. Dividing both sides by 4, x will equal 12. In other words, the speed of the boat was 12 miles per hour. To find the speed of the current, we'll back substitute. And in this case, I'll choose to substitute x back into 27 equals 2x plus c. That'll give us 27 equals 2 times 12 plus 2c, or 27 equals 24 plus 2c, subtracting 24 on both sides, 3 equals 2c. And then dividing both sides by 2, c equals 3 halves, or 1 and a half. From that I can tell then that the speed of the current was 1 and a half miles per hour.